What's up, YouTube, and ho ho ho, it is Christmas time, and I am Domino. Welcome to our Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode 52. Oh my gosh, it got even better than it was in the last episode. I need to bring it down. This episode was, was freaking amazing. It was freaking amazing. If you watched this episode, as always, let me know what your favorite part of it was in the comments below. Let's talk about this episode, because... It got me. It was great. It was a great episode. The episode starts off as it has so often with Lily recapping the last episode. If you want to check that out, we did a review of it. Go find it. It's there somewhere. The intro happens right away. You knew the episode was going to be great when the end, like the little pre-episode part was literally just the recap. And then it went straight into the intro. It's called The Altar of the Sun, Solgaleo Ascends. So it starts off where the last episode left off, where all the Tapus were in front of the gang and Rotom's still taking pictures, the whole group is still freaking out, and something was started glowing in Ash's bag. At first, I didn't know what it was. I'm an idiot. It was definitely Nebby. Um, but Ash explains to the Tapus what happened to Lusamine and asks for their help. Um, Coco goes up to the other three, because obviously Coco knows Ash. <clears throat> they've come and they've they've run into each other enough, but Ash doesn't know the rest of the Tapus. So they conf confront each other, kind of have a little discussion, and then the four of them like make this big field of all four of their, um, all four of their what um, the, the the field effects the uh, terrains. There we go uh, of their terrains, and then they show a movie, and it's basically just Ash's dream and all the way until where Ash found Nebby, and it turns out that all of the Tapus were in that little forest where Ash originally found Nebby. Um, but at the last second, like, three of them flew off, and then Coco turned around and to look at Ash, and then he flew off. Um, <clears throat> so, Kukui comes up and just says that they, uh, like, all of them, the four Coco, the four Tapus and uh, Sogaleo Lunala had entrusted Ash with Net. Um, so, Cosmo M begins to glow and causes Rowlet to wake up in a panic. Um, and jumps out of Ash's bag, and Ash winds up like Nebby is floating. Uh, Cosmo is flo floating above Ash's hands and goes up to Coco and shows uh, Tapu Coco Nebby's current form and says, Hey, can you help us? He starts floating up, and um, Tapu Fini and Tapu Lele start dancing around him, doing this, um, what just looks like a, a ritual of some kind, and Coco and Bulu are just chilling on the sideline. Um, but Gladion gets impatient. I gave I gave him a minus one. Like I, this this docked him a little bit in my mind. He gets impatient, and starts yelling at the Coco or at the Tapus, and Tapu Coco gets like right up in his face and is just like staring at him, about to blow him away. And uh, Lily comes up and says, "Hey, let's just let them do their thing." And Gladion decides to back up. So Kugui gets a phone call from someone saying that they're in trouble. And he starts to walk away, starts to walk down the stairs um, and tells the whole group like, oh, Burnett just got here. I'm just going to go save her real quick. I'll be right back. And then as he's walking away, he pulls a Pokeball out of his pocket and he says, I'm counting on you, partner. Since when does he have Pokemon in the anime? Oh, oh. Anyway, since when does he have Pokeballs in the anime? Um. Team Rocket is climbing up the side of the mountain, and they're talking about... Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Nothing really happened in this moment. So they were climbing up the mountain, talking about how they were going to get there, and they were going to be persistent, etc., etc. So they get to, to the top of the mountain, and they see that the whole group is talking to the Alolan deities. James pulls out his little book and starts going through it and can see all of those. Cool. But then they see new little... They call it the little badge-looking thing in between all of the deities... And they're not sure. They thought it was going to be a small coughing, right? A baby form coughing. That's what it was. They were originally thought they were going for. Um, but then James comes up with this. Maybe it's a. They said the word kata coughing. I have a feeling that what they meant was an Alolan coughing, like the Alolan form of a coughing. Um, that, that's my guess based on some context clues and later on in the episode. Um, but Meowth. Because Meowth over... Okay, sorry. Meowth overheard them saying that that was Nebby. So that's where all that came from. Um, it flashes back to where uh, Burnett is there. Burnett and Munchlax are in the little room where all of the Jengma'o and the Hakama'o are shown. 
and uh, <laughs> they're, they're, Munchlax is like sweating. It was pretty funny. Uh, but then Kukui shows up and throws out his Pokemon, and it's a Braviary. Now, I know in the original Sun and Moon, he had a Braviary on his team, but I didn't know that was his partner. He has it use, um, what's that big move? Brave Bird. Has it use Brave Bird, um, and then it cuts away from them. Well, it shows Burnett is like in love with this guy, and then cuts away from them. I don't know if they're married in the show yet, or if they're about to be married. I don't know how all that works, but um, where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Okay, um, so Team Rocket goes to start to launch their capture on what they think is a lowland coughing, and Beware steps right in front of them, like right in front of the little eye hole that James is looking through, the scope. Beware steps in front of it and grabs them and jumps away, and I thought he was taking them back to like their base. Instead, they just jump like to another mountaintop to watch what was going on. I, I just, I really want to know what's going on with this Beware. Um, but Jesse starts yelling at Beware, and Beware starts yelling back. Beware's screen, face fills up the whole screen. It was, it was a pretty funny little thing. Um, so, the, all of the Tapus are standing on their individual pedal, pedestals, and they start tuning up. If you're a musician and you hear it, you immediately know that's what they're doing. They start to tune up, and they begin to sing a song, and everything starts glowing. Um, the scene where like the lights go up the altar and then the top of the altar like spins open and the light comes down and makes the big little circle light where Cosmo goes into it. That's actually exactly what happened. It was exactly what happened. Nebi entered it and evolved into a Solgaleo. And it was the most amazing sequence of a, like the, the evolution sequence was just freaking Awesome! It looked so cool. I mean, obviously we haven't had a Pokemon evolve into a legendary, so what should I expect? But man, it was so cool to see it. So then, you know, they're flipping through and Team Rocket sees, oh, this is actually Solgaleo. And Solgaleo, whatever it is. And uh, Jesse and Meowth are like yelling at James and James is just really small and he's embarrassed that it's not what he thought it was. Blah, blah, blah. We don't think we see them again. Um, but Sogaleo walks up to Ash, and the gang is just amazed at how amazing, cool Sogaleo is. And Kiawe is being his usual extra self. Um, Lily approaches and does that weird forehead thing where, like, she touches the forehead of Sogaleo. Um, that's what I was going to make the thumbnail, and and then I, and the, and, and and then I kept watching. Um, but Sogaleo comes up and licks Ash's face, and I guess they did that to prove that that was actually Nebby. Because he goes through all of like his memories of when he was a Cosmog, etc, etc. Um, and then it gets serious and Ash goes, hey, can you help us? And all, like all of the group, like uh, Lily and Gladion explain like what's going on. They need to get to the other side of the wormhole. And uh, Coco comes down and gives Ash a new Z crystal. And it's the Solgaleo Z crystal. And Ash tries to fit it on his little white Z ring, but it won't fit. It's not the right one. I, I still don't have the new one. I don't know if I'm going to get the new one, but um, Coco then has the, the ring like come off of Ash's arm and it goes around to all four of the to the Tapus and it's freaking cool. There's like this nice little dance. It's a it's a really cool little sequence. The song, the beat, all that's really awesome. Um, and they upgraded Ash's Z ring. We've been seeing his upgraded black the Z power ring from Ultra Sun and Moon. Uh, we've been we've been seeing that in the intro. Excuse me. In the intro for so long, we hadn't seen it here, but it, it upgrades. Ash's ring gets up upgraded. This is where Gladion rushes up and asks Solgaleo if they can go to the other side of the wormhole now. And at first, it looked like Solgaleo was yawning, and I was gonna laugh so hard if he was gonna swerve or curve uh, Gladion like that. But he gets down, and the whole gang gets on top of Sogaleo. Everyone gets on top of Sogaleo, and Liger Zero is ready to take off. So Coco comes up and and shows Ash how to use his new Z move, and it's Sunshine Smasher, which I think is uh, Sogaleo's signature move, and they take off into the wormhole. It was so cool. It was so cool. But then I guess I I, I say it here. We do see Team Rocket. And they're absolutely clueless about what's going on. They have no idea what what this wormhole is, etc., etc. Are we about to see what's going on with Team Rocket? 
they've got to play some type of role in what's going on. Again, I think I still have more episodes to I have one more episode to watch. So we're not going to do a look ahead to the next episode because I'm going straight on to it. But again, if you watch this episode, let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of it was. And we'll see you in a couple days for the next Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review where we will be caught up with everything that has happened. Until then, have a blessed day.